hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i think this video is the first type of fashion related video that i've ever done on my youtube channel i think so actually like i've ever done okay i think i've done one that i did like a try on but that was a long time ago yeah i haven't done any like haul fashion videos personally it's because i think you know some of those videos are borderline just not my style i don't know it's just not my style i think that you know like i don't know i don't i don't really enjoy those videos so i don't enjoy watching them so i don't make them yeah but i'm doing this video because someone on instagram had you know messaged me that to see you know you carry a lot of nice bags and i know that you're not one to you know break the bank especially for because we're, we're all young you know and stuff like that that can you please do a video on how you pick handbags and how you shop and all that and obviously because the backdrop of my video i mean if you know anything about the united kingdom i do not have the luxurious space at the moment to feel and i don't live alone i live with my husband so i'm only able to film here or in my living room i don't have like another filming you know like with white backdrops that will be less distractive so it's not like as if i just want to um film here you know i just have no other choice and i can never film in my bedroom so that's just um why i film here and obviously with all my shoes and stuff in the backdrop so yeah that's that so in this video i'm going to be showing you the things that i consider when i'm going shopping especially for bags now you guys know if you know me you know that one thing i like is handbags i like handbags they are great way like to you know spice up your outfits i love matching my bags with my sandals or my shoes i love matching my bags with my clothes you know i try to have a bag in each basic color and even like some secondary colors like for example burgundy i like to have bags like that because sometimes you may not have matching shoes you may not have matching accessories but if you have a matching bag i just think that you don't need to do too much work and if you follow me on instagram my handles will be here you'll see the sense of my style i think my style is very simple i don't do a lot of accessories if you watch my youtube videos i barely wear earrings i wear earrings normally but i barely like if i don't remember to wear them it's not something that'll make me go back home i don't do necklaces like that so i just wear my wedding ring my wristwatch and a bracelet and studs if i ever wear earrings so that's all that's really my style well handbags nice dresses i feel like they give your outfits just a little oomph if that makes any sense so yeah so that's what i'm just going to be showing you in this video so if you'd like to know more definitely keep watching so handbag shopping the first thing i look at is the price no matter how gorgeous a handbag is i have a mental threshold that i don't buy any material thing over 200 pounds if it's not a gadget if it's not something that maybe like an appliance if it's not something that produces more money for me um i don't it's just that's just me i would never well for now for where i'm at in my life which is like <laughs> now maybe till the next you know i don't want to say never but my current trajectory I try not to spend over 200 pounds and for some people that's and i don't mean like collectively i mean on one individual item i don't even think i've spent ever over 200 pounds on any fashion item besides i think real gold and i think that was it wasn't even me that paid for it that was during my wedding and obviously that cost like times 10 of that but that was my husband's purchase which is my current wedding band so not besides that but any fashion item i don't think i've even spent <laughs> even like 150 pounds or anything and i don't i always i always tell my friends that i don't own any you know mainstream designer item i think the only three designer things that i have were all gifts Dolce and gabbana um i think i have chanel chanel boots my friend's mom got that for me i have some Dolce and gabbana jewelry i got that from a friend as well and what else that i know off the top of my head i can't remember i think maximum three four items mainstream designers but that's just because as i said for where i'm at in my life that's not my priority you know i don't aspire for those things at the moment or ever and i'm doing this video because of so for someone that is like me that you love to look nice you love to look stylish you love quality things because especially with handbags you want to make sure that you invest in good bags that can stand the test of time so even the things i'm showing you here they're not going to be bags that are maybe like dead cheap you know because i feel like cheap is cheap like what is cheap is probably cheap you know i think things that are made with really good metals that don't rust really good um, um leather as well that don't like rip really good patent but like patent is like shiny stuff um really good let me say even the workmanship the finishing they don't come cheap although a lot of i said iron designers are overpriced but things i'm showing you are from high streets so really not popular bag makers and some are even nameless but they are 
timeless pieces so the price points I, I look at the price point is this fair is it do I need it is it affordable can I splurge and you guys when I want to treat myself and if I'm not eating because I love food if I'm not taking myself out somewhere nice or I'm not buying anything that has to be work I just want to I just want let me say I have extra hundred pounds to just buy I always buy bags because I know I would get the value for the money yeah even more than clothes I always buy bags so that's the first thing I look at about price points Second thing I look at, I said, I think I touched on previously, is the color. Do I already have a bag in this color? If I already have a bag in this color, it's a style different. So I'm going to show you guys items definitely. So, you know, take it easy. I may have a So, yeah, like, I'm going to show you the items. So I can have two black handbags, but they serve totally different purposes. Do you get what I mean? So I look at that. Is it functional? Is it for an event? Am I just buying it just because it's just gorgeous? Or am I buying it because I think it's a really, really good bargain? It's like, let me say you go to TK Maxx now and you see a really well made, let me look for a, a regular designer, maybe FC UK or maybe um, Calvin Klein or Valentino or stuff like that. Maybe ideally their selling price was, let me say, £285. And you see the bag going for let me say 90 pounds or 110 pounds and you have a look at it or i let me speak for myself i have a look at it and i think that it's really really nice i would buy that kind of bag do you get what i'm saying i think that maybe it's worth every penny i would buy the bag so those are things that i consider so as i said color i look at that another thing i look about is the functionality you know i barely if i think the last 10 handbag purchases that i made i don't buy any handbag that is bigger than this because it's a waste of space. I don't carry them. They don't go with my own style of dressing. I don't think I've ever, ever, only once because it was a sponsored post and the bag was really functional for my life then because it could fit my laptop. But I never buy bags that are big because I just don't have any need for it. And I know that a lot of my friends said, oh, wait till you have a mom. I would buy a really nice leather baby bag. My mom has a baby store. That's what she's been doing for the last 30 years. She has a baby store. So I know that they are really, really nice, fashionable diaper bags and baby bags that you can wear that will complement. You know, it's not even an outfit. That's just functionalities for your baby. So all my bags are small, sized. I, even my friends in church and where, when I go out, they say, I want you to see Tosin with a small sling bag. You know, that's Tosin. So those are the kind of bags that I go for. So that's another thing I would say. So I, as I discussed, I said price, I said color, and I said functionality and the style, which is the most important thing. I don't go for bags that are shapeless, right? I don't think I have any bag that is a cloth bag. So let me give you an example of what I mean by cloth bag. Okay, this is the this is just the this is not a handbag. This is a string bag that I use, a drawstring bag that I used to keep all my wigs. I have about I think almost 30 pieces of this bag. And this is why I keep all my wigs. As you can see, I have a video. Um, I have a. I said video. Hmm, too much YouTube. I have a label on it which tells me the type of hair. This this hair was inside. So this is that's why the name is there. So I don't buy any bag that you can squeeze. I buy bags that are st structured. And I'm going to show you an example. No matter how cheap, even if it's from Primark or how expensive the bag is, it definitely needs to have structure. And I say that because. Personally, I just believe that when a bag has structure and he, it's just um, well made, it looks more classy, it looks more expensive, it looks more stylish, that's to me. Now, I'm not saying that if you have a lifestyle that maybe you're someone that wears a lot of shorts, you wear a lot of tank tops, um, you might want, you know, bags like that, like rucksack. In fact, someone just gifted me a bucket bag recently. I don't, let me show you what a bucket bag is. So someone gifted me, this This was handmade in France and it was a lovely gift. It's designer bag actually. And, but ideally, this is not my style, but looking at this bag, it's something that if I'm going out maybe for a picnic or I'm just going out with my friends, it's something that I would carry. And I totally love the color because it's tan. So this are, and I don't have any bag this color. So this is like someone, something that I really, I haven't even put it up because I don't want any bag to leave um, scratches on it because of the fabric because it's leather. So I need to find like a dust bag for it. So that's why I just placed it just, you know, in a corner because I really love it. So that's that. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you the kind of bags that I have. And so you understand, I'll talk about just how I get bargains, where I shop them from and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you the bag that I carry most often. So this is the bag that I carry very often. I love this bag so much. I wish like I had another camera so as I'm speaking to you, I'm able to like open the bag and show you the inside. Maybe after this video, if I'm able to like, um, if there's space on my SD card, I'm able to do like inserts. So I'm just going to lift it up so I can open it on camera. 
I love bags like this. They're very stylish. They're roomy. And this bag is from, I think I got this from Linear. Linear is a House of Fraser bag. And I get, if I have 30 bags, I get at least 17 from House of Fraser. And that's because, as I said, because I just I just know when they do the sales. So I'm able to buy like Kurt Geiger bags. I'm able to buy Carvella bags, which also like other Kurt Geiger. I'm able to buy like um, therapy bags, which are so affordable and beautiful. Like I'm able to buy those kind of bags and on... I said because I'm a saver for cheaper so this is the bag that I carry very often is navy blue I wear a lot of navy blue I have a lot of navy blue dresses because I feel it's just very corporate and it goes with a lot of gold so see if I was even wearing this outfit this bag will go with it you see what I mean so it's really nice I like that it has a long strap I ensure that literally all my bags they have the ones that I don't have because I have a couple of bags I'm able to you know into switch the straps as well so I love this bag so much the leather is very very nice I don't know if the the sun is reflecting although the only downside of this bag is that if you're not very careful with it I'm always around a lot of children if they scratch it it may indent but this is a bag that I'll buy I think this bag was originally retailing for I think 69 pounds but I think I paid 28 pounds for it yeah and I think it even later went down to about I think 17 pounds I'm not sure but I think I paid about 28 or 30 pounds for this bag over Christmas like I think a year or two ago but so this is the bag that I carry very often so another bag that I carry very often is this small red tote I love this bag so much like it's so cute I love it it goes with my outfit as well and it's red and I have I think I have about two red bags and I'll show you the second one I'm so in love with that bag I got this from TK Maxx like every person that lives in England or in the United Kingdom knows or Scotland in the UK at large knows that TK Maxx is that place for bargains you guys they have I said maybe the branch that you go to or you leave at, there's a lot of people there. So you wait before you get there, all the nice things are sold out. But personally, the TK Maxx in Glasgow, I think I'm the only one that shops there. So I get, I have, I'm going to insert pictures of dresses that I got that were priced like £180, £300 that I paid under £50 for them. This is a bag that I absolutely love so much. This is the kind of bag that if they had it in um, two colours, I would buy. I think I bought this bag for... Definitely under 40 pounds. <laughs> Definitely. Because it's small. Ain't nobody gonna pay. And it's I don't know, I don't think the leather is that um exquisite. It's just regular leather bag that you know they probably source from Africa. So yeah, it's pure pretty. I think it reminds me of this popular um I think it's a Chanel bag. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who they were inspired by, but it has this crisscross design. I just hope it's picking up very well in this camera. I'll try and zoom in as I'm speaking to you. And it has this clasp when I just open it. So if you notice, know, see how I store my bags? You guys, I do not have OCD. I'm just very, very meticulous. In fact, I'm thinking of ordering dust bags from maybe China. I'll order about like maybe 50 pieces just to have and so that I can store all my bags in dust. But clear, um, clear ones, so see-through ones, so that I can see the bag that I'm trying to pick up. So I always ensure that I keep for small structured bags, I keep like tissue paper, nylon. I do a lot of shopping, so I have a lot of like nylons and stuff. Or even just, you know, stuff that came with like maybe my computer, paper. I squeeze and I put it inside. So I love the bag. It has, and this kind of bag, what I will put inside is my powder. This is my makeup brush that I go out with. I have a longer one that I use at home. But when I'm going to, this is what I use. Can you see? So it fits, it fits my bag. My cards, my powder my lip gloss and yeah I don't carry a wallet all the time I only carry a wallet when I'm carrying a proper sized bag I just take my card and my token so this and it has a lovely strap and I like this bag because it's silver and not gold so this is a bag that I love from TK Maxx I'm going to show you another one now so this is my second red bag oh I love this bag so much like I think I haven't even carried it out like proper because I've been glossed I really don't go anywhere besides church this bag is so me like if i was to design my own handbag besides the small totes i would design something like this this bag is from verge to be honest i think i never heard of the name of the brand until i bought it i was just walking in tk maxx and i saw it and i'm like <gasps> must have i love the design i love the leather i love the structure you see let me tell you something about buying let me pardon my choice of what classic things it's not really about you know the the name or the design is the little like um accents on it so a c c e n t s so, so things like notice that this is wood so it makes it look more it's a heavy bag it's not a lightweight bag it's wood the gold detailing the way it is i haven't carried this bag out this bag out as i said so i still have the, the crest on it the the nylon is still on the crest i'm just going to open it now of course i told you guys i don't buy any bag without strap because it's just convenient 
I still have everything inside. It's so roomy. It is just the label of the bag. The original retail price was £50. And I think even if I did not get it on discount, I think I definitely paid under £50 for this bag. I think it was an impulse purchase. So it was definitely under £50. I can't remember. I should have done my due diligence. So it's red. I really love the, the way you could tell that it's a really thoughtful brand. Like the way the bag was made, the insides, the cloth used. Oh gosh, I wish I had like, uh oh, oops. I wish I had like, you know, another, you know, videographer here showing the inside of the bag. I'll just do my best to show you all these details while I'm editing it. So this is how it closes, see? And it's just perfect. Like, I think I really love red these days. Like, it's just beautiful. Just, I think I would style this, hmm. It depends. It goes with a lot of outfits. Even with a basic red dress, you know, tank top, even the off-shoulder dress that I'm wearing, it would go with like high-waist jeans. Perfect, perfect purchase. So I absolutely love this um, this bag. It was going for £50 and I said the tag was inside, but I know I did not pay £50 for this bag. Well, would you know if I ever told you? No. So, yes, that's that. So the next bag that I'll be showing you is from Dune. I have a whole lot of bags from Dune. I think I have up to 15 bags from Dune, but I've given out a lot because when I was moving to the UK, I gave out a lot of my um, handbags as well because it was just a lot of luggage. So this one I haven't carried before as well. It's new. I got it. My husband got this for me as a gift because obviously he knew I liked bags. And I told him that I went to Dune and I saw this bag that I liked. I went to, yeah, I went to Dune and I saw this bag that I liked. And I was like, oh, okay, send me the picture. So when I see something that I like, I usually don't, I work, you guys, I only say this, I work. I, I don't have any person, you know, giving me money. I don't have any sponsor. Jesus is my sponsor, you know. <laughs> so I work, but that's why when I want to give myself things, I always, you know, I, I have a mental note and I say that, you know, what to say. When you're paying yourself salary, you know, you can, you know, buy yourself something like So I really, really like this bag. I love, love its champagne. I do not have any champagne bag. I feel like it's a bag that goes with like rose gold, plain outfits. I just pray that by the time I'm editing this video, these bags are actually showing in reality how gorgeous they really are. Like this is the bag. This is, see? So cute. Let me stand up so cute so cute so cute love it love it love it so this is the inside of the bag as you can see i always ensure my you know stuffing is inside because as you get as i said i'm not really spoiled for space at the moment so i, I just want to ensure that when i arrange my things i don't arrange my bags <coughs> i try not to arrange my bags this way because of space so i make sure i arrange them this way so i don't want bag a squeezing bag b so that's why so yeah this is a gorgeous bag and i love it and it's sentimental as well I didn't ask for the receipt, so I don't know how much it costs at the moment. So, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is um, another one. This is from Dune as well. I like this bag so much. It's so structured and it's so cute. The only issue that I have with this bag is that because of the color scheme, it doesn't go with a lot of clothes that I personally have. I do wear a lot of nudes, but nudes are funny. You may have um, a nude bag that goes with this dress and doesn't go with another dress or even this nude may be too pale or too pink and doesn't go with what you have and just looks a bit all over the place and yet again you guys see what i mean when you have a bag that has the wood as the handle or has wood as the handle it just gives it more bulkiness like it makes it more so yeah this is another bag that i totally love as i said guys i always ensure that my stuffing are in my bag just to keep it very very structured so yeah, this is another bag that I love. This was a gift from my friend. I'm not going to call her name because I'm not sharing her friend. So yeah, thank you so much, girl, if you watch this video. Um, yeah, this is a gift that I got from her. Yes, this is a gift that I got from her. Yeah. So this is another bag that I love. I absolutely, absolutely love this clutch purse. Funny story. So I went to the store. I think it was TK Maxx as well. If I'm, They have a really good selection. I mean, the one in Glasgow is just awesome. Or if you go there at the right time. Yeah? So because I work for myself at the moment, I'm able to go to the shops where it's not, it's not really busy. And I find things that they don't have. And that's another thing I forgot to mention. I don't buy bags that people... A lot of my friends say this, and I say this with all humility. In fact, someone even said that to me during the weekend, that anytime she sees my bag or a bag with me, she never finds it with anybody else. And I'm sure there are lots of people, they may not just be on Instagram, that have the same bags. But I try not to buy stuff that they're readily available online things that they are 50 you know 50 pieces in one store no i just like to buy things that maybe it's the only one in store it's not really people's style or 
I even if I buy something that's common, I buy it in a color that I know that <coughs> excuse me, people really really wouldn't pick. So something like this. Now this clutch I got it, I think it's so stylish. Like I know that definitely it's very church appropriate. So let me tell you the funny story behind this bag. I don't know if you do this, but I do this all the time. So I went to the store. I think I got this as I said from TK Maxx as well, the bag section. I went to the store and I saw this bag and I was like, oh, so cute. Like I really love the the detailing on the side. I don't know if it's coming off as gold or silver, but in reality, it's actually goldish silverish, if that makes any sense. So I saw it, but I noticed that it was going for a very ridiculous price for a clutch purse. Very ridiculous. For to me, <laughs> not to anybody else, because my own cheap is somebody's expensive and my own my own expensive is somebody else's cheap, so you know. Cut your coat according to your material, to your fabric. So yeah, I saw it, I think maybe borderline between 69 to 79 pounds for this bag. And I was like, funkene, funkene, like for what? So, and I looked at it and I noticed that the bag could not close. And I'm like, ah, I tried it, tried it, couldn't close. I said, okay, so I took it to the till. I'm like, I like this bag. You guys know, as I say, I'm very good with my hands. I know that last, last, I'll find a way to close the bag. Highest, I'll order a soldering machine on eBay and I'll solder metal to it because I did that when I was in Lagos a lot. So I sold that thing. So I know that it's not really a big deal to fix a clutch of a bag. So I took it to the till and they were like, oh yeah, that it's been bad that they were going to change the price. So they called the manager and you guys, I think I got 70% off this bag. Definitely 70% off because it was useless to them. As soon as I got them, I look for glue, I look for paper, I shall did one small, you know the clasp that is always here that doesn't make you close. I put it there and it worked perfectly. And here is my see how I'm smiling. Here is my 70 or 60 pound bag that I got for less than probably less than 20 pounds. So yeah, that's another tip. Okay, so another bag that I always carry as well is this bag. Now, I have a lot of black handbags, and I'm going to explain why. So, I'm going to try and show maybe two or three handbags, two or three black handbags at the same time, and I'll tell you what I wear, which I wear to when, and uh, which I wear to wear, and why. So, just give me a minute. Okay, my hands are full. So, let me start with the one I was talking about before. So, let's say Tosin is going to the city center, and she just wants to go grocery, sh uh, not grocery shopping, she just wants to go and maybe pick up maybe eyelash glow or something i just want to go to the bank i will carry this bag it's stylish it's easy it goes with one of my flat um shoes from dorothy perkins let me show you so this is another way that i shop i buy bags according to the way they look and if it matches any of my things so look at this round um thing here actually i'm going to put a picture where i was actually wearing this top this shoe and this bag and then you can see what i'm talking about and they go together so that's why I bought. so when i saw this bag i was like oh i have a shoe that would go with this um, bag so that's why i bought it i think i bought this one for about maybe 35 or something pounds it wasn't expensive at all so this was a good purchase as well and i really like it because the leather is really neat and the insides are just perfect yeah so just my paper inside and that's that so that's where i would wear that too so let me show you the next one so this is the same thing if i was also going to the city center another nice bag i think this is from carvella think so yeah and this one i would carry it let's say also if i'm going to city center but i need to carry my wallet my wallet is a bit bulky i don't have it here i would have shown you this is what i would carry this is a lot roomier you can fit a wallet without the wallet squeezing and it has a long hand as well so i really love this bag so that's why i would carry this too so <clears throat> so let's say um i'm going to let me say Maybe midweek service, I need to carry maybe like my tablet, my Bible, my phone. I would carry this bag because it's a lot more. Sorry, let me just fix this. Yep. It's a lot more roomy. And I got this from Nigeria actually. I got this bag from I think Lagos Market actually. I think I was just walking on the road and I saw it. And I got this bag for under 7,000 Naira in Nigeria and it has stood the test of time. I've had this bag for almost 3-4 years and not, look at Does it not look expensive or is it just me? It's beautiful. I love when bags have this shape, like this Hermes kind of shape. So this is the bag that I've, has a long strap as well. The leather hasn't disappointed. Everything is clean and perfect. So this is what I will carry if let's say I need to put like my tablet inside and all the things that I mentioned previously. So let's say um, I'm going to church and I need a black bag because I'm wearing black sh patent shoes and I said I try to buy um, Bags that match my shoes. So I'll show you a shoe now 
So this is my black patent shoe or patent shoes, patent patents, and I bought this bag to match with it. So this is like, I love this bag. I have it in two colors, in black and in the nude. I mean, they're cute, so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. And guess where I bought this bag from, guys? So, you know all these stalls within the mall that they sell handbags? Yeah, there was one in, you know, um, I think Clyde Bank Mall here. And I just saw it when I was passing and I was like, this is so cute. Like, how come no one has bought this? She was like, oh, yeah, that people don't really like it because it's small and it doesn't, like, you know, the population. So there's a bit of lint on it because of um, dust and all. And I was like, girl. And the woman is so nice, like she's Scottish, she's so lovely and she, she just, every time she sees me, she says hi. So I was like, you know, let me patronize this woman today. And I was like, how much? I think she said maybe £25.99 or something like that. I should have ended up asking her that, what if I want to? And she gave me a whooping discount. I can't remember, I know that was really awful. I mean, getting a discount of £25, but I'm going to show you how I styled this bag the last time I wore it. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all these things. Now when I wear my clothes, like you people say, oh, I'm sure to got it for half price, but whatever. This is what I have and this is just gorgeous and it's just beautiful and it's so stylish and that's the thing I tell you guys like you can't buy class and you can't buy style it's just you you know some people have all the money in the world they wear the best made things but it still is not doesn't look appealing and that's not to spite anybody I'm just telling you that whatever you have wear it with your chest and don't be embarrassed i don't know how you put lie for the darnest things someone will ask you where you buy your bag from you say it's from it's a gift you can't remember it's a lie we both know you bought it for 30 pounds so why are you lying but <laughs> but yeah so this this is a bag i have a friend in church hi shay i know she watches my video anytime she sees something of like this is so nice where'd you get it from i'm like guess how much she'll be like oh gosh because you don't tell me and i tell her she'll be like you need to take me shopping and stuff so yeah this, I got this bag for cheap and it's a stunner. So let me show you this one. This is such a lovely, lovely bag. I love it. It's by Lulu Blanc. Lulu Blanc is a designer. I can't remember what country she's from, but she has really, really bespoke things. Like she sells, I things go for, I think, about 300 um, pounds, depending on the design of the bag. I'm not really sure, but me, I'm not paid that share. I bought it from TK Maxx and I paid. It's been a long time i don't want to give wrong figures but just know that it's definitely under 50 pounds for this tiny bag i definitely did not pay but just that was so cute like sometimes i have an event or not even in what am i talking about unless i want to go out to the city center and i don't want to carry down my other navy blue bag i just carried this one because it's so small and it's cute and it has a long strap and it's just very cute so this is another one now since we're talking about small bags i'm going to talk about maybe um two clutch purses so let me talk about the first clutch purse which is this one it's a bullet clutch purse i'm going to insert a picture of the last time that i wore this clutch purse and everybody at the event were asking me even on instagram when i posted a picture where did you get this clutch from where did you get this clutch from i think i got it from oh my brain i can't remember but i will put it in this video and it was yes skinny dip skinny dip it's definitely skinny dip so it even has skinny dip inside and it's it looks trust me it's so bulky i think it was going for 43 pounds or so but i know i paid about 19.99 for it so that's about 20 pounds for this so and you guys i try not to buy anything full price because i know that even when you're on sale i mean business guys even when you're on sale i know the person is making minimum 20 percent except it's a bankruptcy sale then you know if that's the case then they might be selling at a loss but which i even still doubt so i bought this this is so look at the way it's even you know reflected it's so beautiful like let me model it for you <laughs> it's so so pretty so this is a clutch that i love it's gold it's timeless till you know till and it says the only thing i don't like about it is because it says gold digger but ain't nobody this close to you looking at the what is written on your purse so because i'm not a gold digger i'm a gold digger not a gold digger so yeah but it says gold digger so fine so yeah but it's gorgeous so the last but not the least clutch purse I'm going to show you is this one. I love this clutch so, so much. It goes with every outfit because it's clear. It's acrylic. I said, as I said, I don't carry anything. Even when I'm on my period, I have this um, thing that you can put your pad in in case I need to change. So you, people can't even tell you have a um, sanitary towel with you. So this can fit my bag. It can fit my small kabuki uh, makeup brush. It can fit my sanitary towel. It can fit my offering. It can fit everything. I wear church a lot when I'm wearing something that... I don't have any um, bag that matches. Yeah, you know there's some clothes that, or the, if you carry a bag, it's just too bulky. So if like, I'll put an, I'll insert a picture 
of when the last time I carried this as well, so you guys can see how I styled it. So yeah, oh, this is actually a fun video. So yeah, so yes, I'm coming. Um, just before I go, I'm gonna show you um, two bags for the working girl. So maybe all these bags that I put up doesn't appeal to you. You have a nine to four, five. You're working at a, you know, you're working at the big four. You need a handbag that is functional, that carries your laptop, your tablets, your house keys, your water, even if it's possible. I have two bags that do that for me, and I use them to travel. Right? So when I travel, I like to travel really, really light. And you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, last year I think I traveled almost four or five times. And not even like luxury um, vacations. I traveled for work. So I traveled back to Nigeria. I traveled to see my family. I traveled on an emergency trip for a burial. So I've, even this year, I've traveled to Lagos. Okay, just once this year. Once or twice? Once this year. So yeah, these are two bags that serve that purpose i this one is so beautiful it's so afrocentric it's from hope fashion this was sponsored i actually have this bag in two colors i have it in yellow and the, the, the green the green was a gift from the owner's sister to me on my birthday and it's such a gorgeous bag i have i will put a picture of the when i modeled this bag for this brand this was years ago maybe and it's still standing test of time if i just want to wear it i just take like my shoe shine and i just dust off the lint and i go to go that's why you guys see i need, need a um dust bag and it has this um africa oh, i'll just try and zoom in i hope this is picking up well on camera this africa kind of chain and the two times i've carried this bag out in glasgow like people from other cultures have actually asked me that oh your bag is so beautiful where did you get it from it has like a matte pattern which is just gorgeous i just hope it's showing on camera so the, this black part is not plain black it's like crocodile skin but tiled or like mats, like mats woven. Yeah, so it's beautiful. The inside is so roomy. I don't know. I think it can fit a 13-inch MacBook Pro. So and this bag cost I think 40,000 naira in naira. So that's about maybe 90 to 100 pounds. And I think it's great value for money because it's real leather. Now the second one is this one. Um, it's so lovely. It's from Mark B. Yes, I think I got this bag for maybe 75 pounds thereabouts. And I bought this bag because I just felt like just look at this bag like let me see i when i went to lagos for work and i stayed in lagos for like two months i rocked this bag like every single day see you could carry it on to the back so i'm gonna carry it to the front so you guys can see on camera you can carry it on to the back you can carry it like a briefcase you can carry it like a sling bag and it, it, it has the trust me i when i travel and i put it on my, my trolley or my suitcase it just looks so put together and the space inside is unbelievable see one two three and it has pockets like i still even have my travel essentials inside like earphones my adapter a handkerchief two handkerchiefs my really old iphone that i've been looking for is still inside interesting so yeah this bag is a great 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 purchase i love it every time i carry that people are like i love your bag like it's so unique so yeah if i was doing a nine to five ah best believe i'll be giving them back to back and i love this color very mature very beautiful it's like burgundy and wine had a baby or burgundy and plum had a baby so it's such a beautiful bag so i'm just gonna swim like this ah gorgeous love it <laughs> so yeah that's about it for my handbag video as i said please you know encourage me like this video comment this video so i'll be encouraged to do more style videos so let me know if you'd like to see maybe like a fashion one for like maybe midi dresses because literally all my dresses are midi dresses let me know let me know what you want to see next i'll try i don't want this to be a habit because i don't have money to be spending on clothes every time i'm not going to be like other girls like i spent 700 pounds on asos it was very I'm not gonna do that <laughs> but i will show you what i have and i'll tell you where to be get the best deals for you know everyday tossing and you know jennifer watching or whatever your name is so yeah i actually really enjoyed filming this video i think yeah it's not that bad as i thought it would be and i wasn't cringing i thought i would be cringing like showing you guys stuff but i wasn't so yes um make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe Tell me which one is your favorite bag. Tell me places where you, you know, like to buy bags from. Just to recap, I buy my bags, or I buy a lot of my bags from random places. <laughs> Linear, House of Fraser brands, really. The, you know, the really affordable House of Fraser brands. TK Maxx, my plug, because they have a variety of lots of bags and lots of designers. June, for sure. Kurgaiga, as I said, or Kurgiga, or Kurgela, either of them. And, um, 
yeah, those are really the basic um, five places that I buy my handbags from. So the others are just, you know, different places. As I said, because I buy all of them from uh, TK Maxx. When I buy them from TK Maxx, because there's a whole selection of different brands. And also House of Fraser is the same thing. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have to go now. And till next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.